Hello everyone, this is Plant-Based Veggie Lover coming at you with another Food for Thought video. Today we will be talking about gluten. There has been a lot of talk and new products hitting the market with the label gluten-free. We will talk about what exactly gluten is and why it may or may not be important for you. So what exactly is gluten? Gluten comes from the Latin to mean glue, and it is a protein that is found in wheat and related grains, including barley and rye. Gluten gives elasticity to dough, helping it to rise and keep its shape and often gives the final product a very nice chewy texture. So then, what is a gluten-free diet? A gluten-free diet is one that excludes the protein gluten, so foods containing gluten. And I won't go into all of the foods that contain gluten, that's a quick Google search that you can find, but if you are interested in that topic, just leave me a comment below and I can put a video together for that showing you a list of gluten-containing foods. So why is a gluten-free diet important? A gluten-free diet is primarily used to treat celiac disease. Celiac disease is an autoimmune disease that affects about 1% of the American population. It is not a food allergy or a food intolerance. So gluten causes inflammation in the small intestines in people with celiac disease. And this diet helps people who have celiacs to control their symptoms and signs and prevent further complications, such as nutrient malabsorption. While not all patients with celiac disease have symptoms, some of the symptoms include diarrhea, anemia, bone pain, and severe skin rash. There are others, however, who do not have celiac disease, but also have similar symptoms when they eat gluten. This is called non-celiac gluten sensitivity. These people may also benefit from a gluten-free diet to prevent symptoms and disease-related complications. So then, is a gluten-free diet healthier? There have actually been no credible research studies that show that a gluten-free diet is nutritionally healthier than any other diet. Gluten by itself has no nutritional value, but the many whole grains that contain gluten do have a very good nutritional value. They're rich in a large array of vitamins and minerals such as vitamin B, iron, as well as fiber. And studies have shown that whole grain foods that have lots of fiber as a part of a healthy and balanced diet may help lower the risk of heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and even some forms of cancer. The 2010 Dietary Guidelines for Americans recommends that about half of all carbohydrates in the diet come from whole grain products. A 2005 report from the American Dietetic Association even warned that gluten-free products tend to be low in a wide range of important nutrients, including those B vitamins, calcium, iron, zinc, magnesium, and of course, fiber. So unless you have been diagnosed with celiac disease or non-celiac gluten sensitivity, then there may be more harm than benefit in adapting a gluten-free diet. People who do choose to follow a gluten-free diet will need to supplement their diet to ensure that they are meeting all of the recommended daily allowances or amounts of vitamins and minerals to prevent any deficiencies. So then I'm sure you ask, well, what's the bottom line? If you think you may have celiac disease or non-celiac gluten sensitivity, then it's probably time to set up an appointment with your healthcare provider to discuss testing and to see what options are available for you. If you have, on the other hand, been tolerating wheat and other grain-related products without complication, without abdominal discomfort, then there is likely no health benefit in you adapting a gluten-free diet. As always, the views expressed here are my own and are the result of my own research. And I strongly advise you to do your own research and make the best decision for you and your health. 
While I am a physician, unfortunately, I'm not your physician, so I recommend meeting with your healthcare provider before making any dietary changes. I hope you found this information on gluten helpful and helped to clear up any misconceptions that you had about gluten, the gluten-free diet, and celiac disease, as well as non-celiac gluten sensitivity. If there are any other topics that you would like for me to research and discuss, please leave your comments below and I will definitely do that for you. Thank you again for listening and I hope you have a happy, healthy day. Thank you so much for watching that video and I hope you enjoyed it. While you're here, why don't you head on over to my YouTube channel and subscribe. There you'll find more videos on a variety of topics. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Thanks again for watching. Also, don't forget to head on over to my blog. The link is in the description box and in the header section of my YouTube channel. There you will find posts on a variety of topics. I also have a recipes page where you'll find a list of all of the great recipes that I've posted on my blog, including breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert ideas. Thank you so much. I hope you head on over.